Oral Flynn, uh, days like this don't come around very often. Uh, good one? Uh, yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> it's very good, yeah. Um, unbelievable, unbelievable. It's, it's really hard to describe. Um, yeah, even from the moment we ran out onto the pitch, um, this kind of, this nervy kind of feel, but as soon as we went into the warm-up, um, as soon as we went into the warm-up, uh, literally the, the calmness and the focus on the team was unbelievable. So, yeah, just from start to finish, it was unbelievable. Was, there was a big crowd here from Leitrim all year and a crowd of all ages, I suppose, little girls looking up to ye uh, to be the next players in that Leitrim jersey. But, of course, you have a slightly different story. <laughs> yeah. uh, you didn't grow up wanting to play for Leitrim. You grew up possibly wanting to play for Cavan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, tell us a bit about maybe the last three or four years of your sporting journey because this probably wasn't on the cards for you three or four years ago. No, I suppose, actually, uh, growing up, Camogie was my first sport. Um, and then my hometown, or my home parish, uh, Crishalaw, uh, set up a team and God I can't remember it was maybe 10 years ago and I joined the team then and kind of had a love for the football then and uh, like lucky enough won two senior championships down there and I, wa I had a little stint of playing with Cavan ladies for a short period of time but uh, just wasn't for me at the time and yeah then obviously um, kind of find love in Leitrim and moved to Leitrim um, and um, then Johnny rang me uh, to come in and look at I was like apprehensive about coming in and you know self doubts and that but um, thankfully um, it worked out I kept tricking away every week and yeah we, we all dug in and got where we are today I suppose I mentioned married in Leitrim now a little baby there yeah. as well and yeah. life's coming together but you're with a junior club you're probably the, the lowest ranked club player on that start in 15 how much satisfaction do you get out of that knowing that you have this as an outlet maybe at a slightly higher standard than you're used to in the junior championship at home yeah I suppose um, they, um, sorry I forgot to mention that I, I moved to Leitrim Gales because um, my husband plays for Leitrim Gales and they were setting up a team and Leitrim yeah that's right yeah um, and uh, um, that's his home club and you know, we plan to hopefully someday be living there full time and uh, so it, it was when they were setting up a team it was just seemed right to be, to be starting up there and um, there's great underage coming there as well and um, yeah like I've met such good friends already in the Leitrim Gales and then I, I suppose I, I don't really set goals, I, it, the opportunity just come, come up and um, it was really nice, I was nervous about going in and um, like it, you're right in saying that it is nice that even though I moved to a different county I could put myself into the football in a different, in, um, in at inter-county standard and just challenge myself so yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but um, yeah, no, it's an unbelievable experience. Was there many Cavanites here uh, waving green and gold? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I saw a few of them there after a um, good few from Krishlaw, uh, Krishlaw Kamogi and Krishlaw um, and GFA. So, um, absolutely, and family and friends and everything. It was unbelievable to see them after the game. It's a dream come true. I saw a little hug from Aiden on the sideline as well. <laughs> yeah. The uh, listen, congratulations today. Thank you. It might have been the dream you grew up with, but it's definitely one you've been living for the last 12 months in particular. So congratulations. Yeah, I suppose you always uh, you always uh, want to play in Crow Park someday. Um, didn't realise it was going to be with Leitrim, um, but I've never been prouder to be play, playing for Leitrim. So, yeah. Well done today. Thank you very much, Rafi.